the world is ice. There's no electricity. Tree branches have been snapping all over town. Roads are closed. People don't have running water. No heat. Now things are dripping. The things have been snapping all night. No gas at the pumps today. No power. A lot of people here to help clear. The roads are filled with trees. The post office is closed. The neighbor's store is open to help the people of our community, even though it's eerily dark and without power. Well, we've already sent all the ice cream back to Snows. They've already been here and picked it up. So we've saved that uh, dilemma. So uh, we'll be back to business as usual on Monday, but uh, we're still in business on Saturday and Sunday. What are you doing with the register not working? We're doing a little bit of math. Nothing like working in the dark. I don't realize how spoiled we are. You don't usually work up here in Asheville. Here we are at Ashfield Hardware Store. He called and said, you want us to pick up your ice cream and store it for you on the weekend. Isn't that something? What you got? Phones. We need phones. Good old phones. Look at this beauty. Look at this. I remember this. Oh, excellent. I remember oh my God, these. and we just gave away all of Great. our phones. Thank you. Cool. Just in time. People have come in for batteries, for good cheer, for emergency lights, for lamp oil, hurricane lamps, and somebody to talk to. We hopefully will have power along Main Street somewhere around 5 o'clock three days before all of Asheville has its power back. Sanderson is opening, it'll be open as a shelter. They can go there, they can call the firehouse and we will go get them if need be. Okay. I've ordered 100 cots and blankets and stuff from MEMA and hopefully they'll get here. The police chief is in charge of the shelter. Some of the people from the warming committee will be staffing it and I think some volunteer firefighters. The firehouse will be manned 24 hours for communications. How are people getting food at the uh, at the shelter? Oh, well, I don't know. I've asked for food for 100 people. Well, well the food pantry, the triad officer, cruiser full of bread and cheese that they got their food Good. pantry delivery, and so they'll Good. we'll just move it over. We have country pie. No food to keep people warm today, huh? No. So we're just letting the kids play games. Yeah. Playing games to keep warm? Yeah. Yeah, look at our hot. Elvers and country pies no. come together. Here we are. Also welcoming, they serve a good breakfast here today. To sleep over people's houses, everybody who has pizzas, come on over. People are, you know, helping each other. What are you doing for pipes freeze? What are we going to do with our freezer? You know, it's all that stuff. I think it's bringing out the good stuff to people. <laughs> I think I shocked the, uh, the reporter from the Greenfield Recorder. He's like, so did you come here for breakfast? You out of heat? I'm like, no, I came to see who needed help and went to the hardware store and they're handing out all these old rotary phones. And he's like, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> we were like, this is the best place to be in an yeah. emergency. Oh, we're totally, you know? we're so but lucky. In the village, we're lucky. I think on the, on the outskirts, yeah, they're having a tough time. But. We share heat, water, light. Local stores, open in the dark, offer food, supplies, a place to gather. We take each other in. <laughs>